Section 4.2 Interactive Assignment Objective 2. A student at a junior college conducted a survey of 20 randomly selected full-time students to determine the relation between the number of hours of video game playing each week X and grade point average Y. She found that a linear relation exists between the two variables. The least squares regression line that describes this relation is y hat, which is equal to negative 0.0559x plus 2.9422. In part A, we want to predict the grade point average of a student who plays video games 8 hours per week. So let's go ahead and do that. What First, what we're going to do is we're going to write down the equation. So for step one, we have y hat, which is equal to negative 0 0.00, excuse me, 0, 0559x plus 2.9422. Okay, and now we're going to substitute the value of 8, which represents x, because x represents the hours per week. So in step 2, we're going to let x equal 8. And now in step 3, we're going to plug it into that equation. So y hat is going to equal negative 0 0.0559 times 8 plus 2.9 Four, two, two. So let's go ahead and plug that into our calculator. So we have negative 0 0.0559 times 8. And then we're going to add 2.9422. And that gives us 2.495. 2.495. Okay, so now it says round it to the nearest hundredth. So if we round this to the nearest hundredth, that means that this is going to go to zero and then that's going to go to five. So therefore, we end up getting 2.5. So the predicted grade point average is going to be 2.5. So basically what it's saying here is, is that if x is equal to 8, then the y value is going to be 2.5. Let's go ahead and put that into our answer here, which is 2.5, okay? So there's our result. Now, before we go any further, let's take a look at this on a graphing calculator. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put in the equation that we have, and the equation is negative 0.559x. So this is negative 0. I believe it's 0. 559x and then it's going to be plus 2.9422 plus 2.9422 okay so let's take a look at our equation and what that's going to look like okay so there is our line okay so this is our line okay now let's go ahead and plot that point that we just discovered and that point was 8 comma 2.5 okay so there is our point okay so there is our graph with that point okay so that means that on the bottom here this x-axis the x-axis represents the hours per week And the y-axis is the grade point average. So let's use this information to answer the next question. Okay, what it's saying here is interpret the slope. Meaning for each additional hour that a student spends playing video games in a week, the grade point average will what? Either decrease or increase by how many points? Okay, well, let's take a look at the graph. Now, if you notice, the graph going from left to right is decreasing because if you notice the slope here, okay, and let me go ahead and highlight that. Okay, here is the slope, which is negative, which means going from left to right, it is decreasing. So, therefore, 
For each additional hour that a student spends playing video games in a week, the grade point average will decrease. Okay, well, it's going to decrease by how many points on average? Well, looking at the slope, you have negative 0 0.0559. The negative part means it's going to decrease and it's going to decrease by the points of the slope, which is 0 0.0559. So let's go ahead and put that result. So it's going to decrease, and it's 0 0.0559. Don't put the negative value in, because a decrease represents that. And therefore, there is our result. Now the next question says, if appropriate, now interpret the y-intercept. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if appropriate, interpret the y-intercept. Well, let's take a look at that equation again. Okay, the equation that we used is the following. We have y hat, which is equal to negative 0.0559x plus 2.9422. Okay, so... Interpreting the y-intercept, the y-intercept is when x is equal to 0. Okay, when x is equal to 0, that means the student played 0 games in a week. So that's 0 games in a week. So if we plugged in 0, negative 0 0.0559 times 0 plus 2.9422 this gives us 0 so therefore the y-intercept is going to be 2.9422 so how do we answer this question well we would say that the grade point average of a student who does not play game video games would be 2.9422 because that means they would not be playing video games. So we're going to call that answer B. Okay, and then the last question, it says that a student who plays video games seven hours per week has a grade point average of 2.44. Is the student's grade point average above or below average among all students who play video games seven hours per week? So what we need to do is determine where would this point be located on the graph and then the residual is either going to be negative or positive. So what we're going to do is we're first going to take a look at this as an ordered pair. So remember that x okay, is going to represent the hours per week of playing video games. In this, set, in this place it's saying it is 7. Okay, and then the grade point average is going to be the y value, which is 2.44. Okay, now let's take a look at this ordered pair and graph it on our graph. So what we're going to do is we're going to graph another point, which is 7, comma, and that's 2.44. Okay, now let's see where that point is located on this graph. So there's that point. Okay, and there is our line. Okay, so because this point is below the line, that means that it's going to be below average. So therefore, we're going to say that it's below average because this is below. So therefore, let's answer our question. And therefore, the answer is going to be below. Let's check. And there is our result.